Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, 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 hello. And welcome, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X. And this is my survival guide, so let's just turn this light up. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've been on this one. Uh, I thought I'd jump back to it since uh, we're all eagerly awaiting the release of Warfare 2 broadside and from the last teaser that they showed very interesting um, now I full disclaimer know what's coming in terms of paid and unpaid but I cannot talk about it due to the NDA I will say that this is the most significant and the most impressive Space Engineers update for both the PC and the Xbox version of the game since, I would say, launch on the Xbox at least. Um, very exciting stuff. Very intrigued. I'm hoping to get back on to the show, as I did uh, last time, maybe for the second anniversary of Space Engineers on the Xbox. Um, so if you're uh, watching this, uh, Keenata, you know where to find me. Uh, what we're going to do here is just um, cannibalize this pod now. We don't need it anymore. We have our base. We have a way of manufacturing things. And always fun trying to find the bits that drop off. Uh, we need some metal plates, basically. Because I want to throw some metal plates into my self-repair device here. My welder's on. Yeah. If you remember, we managed to get up to um, level one tools. Got ourselves a full refiner and a full assembler. Um, can turn these drills off. Retract these pistons for now. At least one. So things will be. It's a bit slow. Ah, no, don't matter. I can leave it running. Do back to the pod. Um, I am running with progression. And one one thing to do is just check if as you grind something down, if you can rebuild it. Sometimes you unlock. Things. In the progression tree. I'd already unlocked stuff involving that. It's been a while since I've been on this save, so it's been a while since I've been on survival as well. I've been uh, Building ships in creative. Obviously, recovering from uh, Christmas and New Year and um, a stomach virus, which was uh, unexpected and unwanted. At least it wasn't COVID, which is good. I've had one brush with that thing. I don't really want another one. Thank you very much. I am double vaccinated and boosted. So, yes, you can still get it, but the effects will be much less, honestly. Uh, it'll still put you through hell if you uh, roll the dice unluckily, so my advice is you know, get vaccinated, get boosted. Don't play with your life, don't play with other people's lives. This thing is not to be laughed at.
always fun to try to find, as I said, the last piece. So about this stuff. Just here, so I've got bits and pieces to play with. Uh, one of the things, actually, somebody did say, and uh, this reminds me, I'm just going to quick save um, by holding down both bumpers and pressing X. I can drop in a quick save. Um, somebody said that you can't add mods to an already running game save. An already running game save can have mods best thing to do is to save it and then simple as this exit to the main menu go to your load game screen drop open the game that you want in my case it's survival guide save press x to edit the settings now as you know you can edit the settings regardless um using advanced this will allow you to make the game harder or easier for yourself as you want and in this case, if you hit the three lines, you'll open your mod menu. Now, I've got a lot of mods um, that I've been testing and or just messing around with. And I am interested, let's say, in just adding a bit more ease to my game. So let's <clears throat> say I want to add Galax Synthetic Materials. I select it with A. I press X to OK it. I press X again to OK that. And Bob. Press A on my survival guide save. It'll check for mod updates and it will download the mod. And now it will add that mod into your save. Now, if you're using, say, like thruster mods or whatever, and you no longer want that mod, make sure that you get rid of all instances of a built thruster. Uh, or the ship that it's involved with. Um, basically, I wouldn't um, leave it to chance. Oh, I can see what's happened here. This is a good example of... Um, you can see that we've still got four drills running. That's because we've only got one drill on this. So let's... Uh, let's fix that right now. Let's let's jump straight into it. How do we fix this problem? We can turn one drill off, but all four are running. Well, we could make a brand new drill group. So let's make sure that drill's running. Let's open up our control panel. And let's see our drills. Here's all our drills, look. And we already have a group called drills. So if we select that group at the top, you'll see that... Our group is there already. So what I may not have done is I may not have added drills as the group to the D-pad. So the easiest way to fix this, hold down the button and clear the slot. So hold down up and then press X and you'll clear the slot. Then hold down up again. Go to the groups. This time we have drills. Toggle block on and off. And there we go. Perfection. Not that there. So now we've got an advanced rotor on our grid. So what we can do here is go to all blocks, advanced rotor, toggle block on off, and turn that off. There we go. And we should also be able to go into our assembler. Let's just drop off the edge here, make it easier. Our um, production system. And you should see the Galax synthetic ingots. And Galax synthetic ingots require gravel. And this is one I like, Galax Synthetic Ingots. Because you can use your gravel to turn 
into ingots. Now, it doesn't break the game because it doesn't give you a massive amount of the later game resources, but it will ease things up a bit. So if we go to production and we queue, say, I don't know, uh, 100. Let's queue. 1,000. You'll see that we're getting various trace elements and things added but in small amounts so it's not going to be one of those mods that really breaks the bank as they say this thing is going to make your life a little bit easier Just a little bit. Not majorly. Um, no rhyme or reason to taking this thing apart, but we don't need it anymore, and it's just being a pain just sitting there. Um, as I always like to do these days, is I prefer to build my own... Um, rover or even a little flyer to go prospecting you'll see that because we've got a lot of ice in the local area uh, we looked out with the save if you remember if you've been following this new player guide if you haven't and you're just getting started then go back and watch my entire new player guide series i will leave that playlist in the description of this video um I'm not sure whether or not to put this under the new player guides. I suppose it still counts. Um, best thing to do when you're trying to break one of these down is wait until the block actually appears in your little sidebar. And then you could grind it. Keep an eye on your stats as well keep an eye on your um energy keep an eye on various things like that since you're playing in survival you don't have the luxury of being immortal like you are in creative and this pod is absolutely brilliant for using to just gather up some bog standard resources and don't think I have the technology. Oh, there you go. By building beacon, you've unlocked new blocks. I thought beacon was one of the ones you could break down and rebuild. There you go. I was talking about that earlier. As I was saying as well, um, I'm really looking forward to Warfare 2. Um, supposedly, um, next week, we're getting a, a teaser on that in uh, the next stream so i'm really intrigued to see what they're going to show off and it's supposed to be a big juicy teaser as well so I think. and we've already seen the rail gun we've already seen what appears to be uh, a big cannon i'm not a gun nut so i couldn't tell you what kind of cannon uh, gun turret it is but it looked great um I will be tempted to do a warship finally uh, with all these uh, with the railgun and the, the reveal so far uh, as you know I'm more of a ship builder or just a builder in general not into playing overly much online unless it's a private uh, session with a few friends and I'm certainly not into uh, PvP. No interest. I cut my teeth on PvP way back in the days of Doom and the days of Quake. Uh, Half-Life Team Fortress. I was actually one of the original beat testers on the first iteration of Team Fortress. Way back when it was just a simple mod. And by simple, I mean 
a mod. I mean, you, you can't really say that Team Fortress was a simple mod, but it was a damn good one. Once we're done with the pod, Some other stuff. It's there. The glass here. Some pieces on it. Thing. And of course, when you're building in survival, you are. Um, there we go. I don't think there's anything left. Last thing for you, you want to do is press your um, entry button or whatever you want to call it. Pop open your GPS tab, look for your respawn pod, and just press Y on that and get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. It's gone. You've got your base. You have your base. Waypoint, everything, anything is there. Uh, I'm going to stock up a bit more metal plating, I think, in this cargo container. There we go, 158 times. Metal plates. And then the rest can go into this cargo container here as part of components and so on. Three hydrogen bottles full as well. So we'll scrap metal. We'll go into the cargo container. That'll get pulled into the refiner and re, um, re made into something useful. And now, what we want to do is we want to look at, again, We've got Galax synthetic materials. I'm going to keep another couple of grand's worth of that. And I want to look at potentially, let's see, can I make any more new tools? That's the question. Can I go up to, yes, because we've got what we need via Galax Synthetic Materials, we could actually go up to level three. I believe, just let me make sure I haven't accidentally left anything on. No, there's no creative mode tools active. So we could push our production to the tools and things to level three. Now you might say that that is a bit cheaty, but Again, it's depending on how you want to play. If you've just started out on the game and you want to make things easier for yourself, then Galax Synthetic Materials works really well. Uh, I added it as a specific way to show off how to add a mod to a game that's already running. And uh, I've already shown you the, the make work part of survival, as you know. Here we go. Um, Again, one of the things that people always ask me is how to find the ores. Well, we've found a bunch, if you remember. Um, we were really lucky in that Cobble was uh, literally on our doorstep, just over here. And this is a great example of how to spot patches of ore. One, you need your drill out and you'll see we've got silicon there on the surface sitting there quite happily what was and is still down here quite a distance put the light the cobble 
a lot of stone as well. Come on, oh, wow, it. And a bit of stone. But mostly cobble. Bear in mind, as I've said before, cobalt takes a while to refine. So it's one of those things you can put into the refiner and then just you know, go and do something else. I've told you in the past, um, I'll repeat myself, that if you hold down the trigger, you can hold down X at the same time and pick up your stone. Just reorientate myself. So there's another trick as well, of course, is if you want to mine automatically, you can double tap and turn your tool on and leave it running. Then just hold down the X button. And you'll pick up anything that comes flying off the wall. All right, we're done on that. And just single tap it to turn it off. come out into the white blue yonder to our base and what I was going to say actually just before we head back to the base is this patch here is a great example of spotting oh because beneath our feet 56.75 meters you'll see there's cobbled if we go up briefly, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's pull back further and further. There we go. Now, that's what you're looking for. When you're hunting for ore in space engineers, you're looking for that. That on Earth like, that darkish grey against the sparse grass shows you that there is a patch of or in the vicinity. You won't know exactly what it is really until you get close enough. The drill only has a short range ore detector. This is why we build either a rover, which I'm not great on rovers, I will admit, but mainly because I'm not really building them. So until I start building them and refining them and working out how they work properly and how wheels work properly and uh, so on, they won't really be a thing I do overly much. But a little flyer, an atmospheric sort of ore scout, that's uh, a pretty good way of doing it. You could also build an antenna and stick a large grid ore detector on it just on this HQ and see if there's any localised ore. Now, as you know, we do definitely have localised ore in this area, so it'd be worth trying that just to see if there's any more. Um, we could also strike off this direction, just pop open the ore detector. Round. I can see straight away there's an interesting patch of ground there that's discoloured. So we can pop across to this, pull down on the ground, and we got silver. So that's actually really cool. So when you find an ore deposit like this, Pop open your control panel. Go to your GPS. Now, I've already found several deposits of silver, but it doesn't mean that I can't pop another one. So what we want is new from current position. So we press X and you'll see 
but there's my new from current position. Well, let's go and rename it to Silver. Three. And that's all there is. Finding all. It's not too hard on Earth like when you've got patches of grassland like this. I mean, that is a great example of what you're looking for right there. That discoloration that I saw from my headquarters. This is a really great place to be, actually. This is one of the best survival starts I've uh, ever had. Run away by holding down left bumper, tapping B. Remember that rule? LBB removes all tools or blocks from your hand. So throw in the stone. And then we've got 5.36k of cobalt. If you're always interested in finding out what is where and what's doing what, you can filter your um, particular inventories with the screen open just tap in the right stick we can see anything in the drills anything in the refinery well yes the cobalt's in the refinery the cobalt is ticking across quite nicely so back to our production back to our tools because we've got Galax synthetic materials we've got an elite grinder Let's see if it will let me make it an elite hand drill and an elite welder Which is perfect. What we could do here there in our assembler are our three new glorious replacements, and we can put these in their place. Then we can go to production on that and we can go to our assembler and you should see that there's our tools there. If we now press Y, we will go into disassemble mode. And if we choose our drill, our grinder, and our welder, we've now disassembled our old tools. Don't forget to press Y again, though, and go back to assembling mode. Otherwise, you might find out you can't make a thing. I've done that. We've all done that. So, we've now got our tools. And because I am fond of moving them, hold down the right bumper and tap the left direction your d-pad just makes things nicer they've used some hydrogen but that's not a problem got a survival kit and we've got our handy dandy two gen plus we've got a bunch of ice that we pulled out using synthetic materials and we've got lots of deposits around us anyway so that is awesome if we need any raw stone well we've got this drill set up if you remember on the timer block how i showed you how to do it before so we could quite easily push that drill piston across until we reach about here and then start the whole drilling process again 
so yeah there you go that is back to our survival save we've done a fair bit to clear out the pod uh, i've shown you a few tips and tricks i've given you the way that i find ore and now we have the rather impressive elite hand drill this thing will drill much faster than the old drill and also has a better ore detector on it as far as i remember it is one of those particular things here you can see our cobble is at 58 meters then popped up on the drill but yeah there you go that's it um We'll look to expand this particular headquarters in the next one. Uh, I wouldn't mind actually making a small base, just something comfortable. Um, I may need to build a second one of these lightning um, rods, since I am playing with weather enabled and uh, so on. I need to uh, refine a few things, uh, add a few things, probably make this more functional. Um, in terms of just controlling the drill itself and the piston. But yeah, that can be for the next time. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your comments. Um, thank you for your support. Thank you for liking. And uh, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please drop a like on the video. And um, it helps out more than you realise. There will be quite an extensive series of videos coming when Warfare 2 broadside lands because there'll be a lot of things I want to talk about. There will be a lot of things I want to show and there will be a few things that I will make tutorial videos on to give you a head start on how it all works. If that isn't a teaser, I don't know what is. Anyway... As I always say, stay safe, take care, have fun, enjoy the game, happy engineering, bye for now.